Welcome to our promo video for the paper, Online Sampling of Summary from Public Sparkle Endpoint. I'm T. Today I will highlight the problem we addressed in this paper. As said usual, when I make a query, I don't care where the data is located. And Federation Engine provides the illusion of a single, unified virtual graph to the user, even though the data may be distributed across multiple endpoints and knowledge graphs. And this is super nice, because the user can query from many knowledge graphs with just one Federation Engine. However, to make it work, the Federation Engine needs the summaries. In fact, summaries provide the basic statistics from all knowledge graphs that help the Federation Engine to locate where the relevant information for each query. And to build a statistic, we need to send the merry queries to Sparkle endpoints. Unfortunately, building summary online fails as summary query often time out on Sparkle endpoint. So, what is the problem? The problem is, on one hand, Sparkle endpoint needs a fair use policy to keep the server responsive to ensure a balanced distribution of resources among all users. On the other hand, we also need the statistic to make the federation engine working. And this is a big problem, that how we can keep the server responsive while still can get the summary. One way to solve the problem is sampling, because we think sampling can avoid the problem of fair usage policy. Because even if sampling is interrupted, it can resume at no cost. But sampling is not yet supported in Sparkle standard, even though it has been part of SQL since 2005. Now, imagine we have sampling in Sparkle. Can we build Federation Engine summaries online? And this is our research question in the paper. What we did are, for the first time, we computed summary query using online sampling in two state-of-the-art benchmark, a fast shop, synthetic one, and large area bench, a benchmark based on a real dataset. We evaluated the completeness of summary per sample size. General results show that 90% of summary can be acquired with a sample size less than 3% of data, which is very promising. We also try when the weary workload is known. Sample efficiency can be greatly increased. At this point, we are wondering, is it a time to integrate sampling in Sparkle? We invite you to read the PDF for comprehensive understanding of our work. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you.